Hi, Carol here, and I'm back for hopefully the second part and the completion of this project, this mixed media project. And there is still a lot to go because um, it is just intense to do a project like this if you have a little bit of fussiness to you where you want to make sure thing you know once it gets hung up it's finished that's your work and you know I keep going over and over in it and I got up early this morning to see what I was going to do get all my stuff ready uh, if you can see this it's like I'm gonna bring it up bags and bags of flowers there it's just um, it's just amazing all the stuff that you want to put on but there's only a 12 by 12 canvas so you have to be very careful to not overload you have to be very careful not to underload because you don't want it to look like it's missing elements but you don't want too many on there if that makes any sense so if I wanted to ever speed something up in a video <laughs> today would be the day because <laughs> Uh, it's like I kind of don't know where to begin so I guess I'll begin with my little Olivia because this is for her what I did if you watched part one is I had Olivia's picture down here underneath this cardboard and as it sat overnight going over it with the uh, Mod Podge because I only put it on plain print paper it started to bleed out and it did not look very appealing to me today. So what I did is I made another photocopy and then I took my machine that adds the plastic over it, whatever you call that thing, um, and I took her photo here. It's my little Olivia. Say hi, Olivia. Hi. <laughs> Just reminds me when I used to play with paper dolls. You know, you dress them up, and in our day, you had to fold the dress back because it had little square tabs. Oh, cracked me right up. But anyway, so I put the pla uh, the plastic over top, and that's that Luminator machine, and I like that better. So she is untouched by any of the elements. Then I'm going to raise her up once again beside this heart right here, and it's going to look beauteous. I love it. Now, flowers. I had an issue with how many flowers to put on. Do I completely cover it in flowers? Do I leave some space for something? So I chose to leave some space for something. I chose plan B. And then... I wanted to add texture for my sprays. When I start to use my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays, I wanted texture on some of the things. So what I did is I took my glue gun and, <clears throat> excuse me, I glued, well, first of all, see how I raised that up because my little bird there, I don't know if you can see this, but he has feathers. I put feathers in there. I'm going to just zoom in on, on that. There he is. Oh, there he is feathers and I put a bead and I took some of my marker here to I am going to go over see how I jump into one thing and another my thoughts are all over this is a K and Company Smashbox pen and uh, it's permanent I like that and what I started to do is just go over some of the image you know like this I don't want it perfect I want it to look like mixed media and I will do all of that later. So I started on the arm here, you know, going around and I will do her little hand and that will all stand out. But that is not going to be today because it's going to use up my 29 minutes. So I took my glue gun and I went over top of all the elements I want raised up when I spray it. I want the butterfly raised up. I want my um, birdcage raised up, the heart, uh, the leaves, the bicycle tire, rims. Um, I think that's about it. So the way I'm going to grab that concept is, I did the buttons on the dress, is I'm taking some cheesecloth 
and that's what's going to, with just one layer, is going to adhere onto this with Mod Podge. And this is going to grab a hold of that Lindy Stamp Gang spray. I'll gesso it on top, and it's going to give me a 3D effect uh, off the page. So everything I wanted 3D, I just trimmed it out with the glue. And let's get started because this is going to take me forever. Okay, I picked out this stamp set right here. I don't know whose it is because I hung it up like that. But I put uh, the itinerary on one of these cards that's going to go down there. And I did put destination on another card. And I will find it as soon as I pick this up. It'll drop off. It's on here somewhere. And I took this uh, really nice stamp set here. And it's in French around the outside of the Eiffel Tower. And I stamped it in different places. I put it... Um, actually, I want to show you what I used here. Here I go into another thought. But I used Martha Stewart's metal butterfly um, stencil. Oh, oh, I have you zoomed in. Sorry. Let's unzoom you. So we can get onto the project here. Let me just see here. Okay. So I used Martha Stewart stencil. I used the written stencil. And I used the stencil with the bird cages and the beautiful uh, bird with the tree here. And the thing I'm going to tell you when you wash these, just put them in hot soapy water, then drip them dry. Because if you use a cloth, it's going to grab these little edges and it will destroy your uh, cloth and it will, especially the metal, destroy your folders, your stencils. So let's get working on that. So now what I did is I took some stems, just some spare stems like this, and I took a little paintbrush and I went around like the wire around here like this. And I'm going to set these aside because I like them coming out of certain things. So I grabbed, they, you know, don't throw these ones out. Um, this is another nice effect for your project. Pull it up and there you go. So I made some of these. I'm going to set them aside and let's get on with gluing some things down here. Now I chose, let me show you here, I'm going to have to take this stuff off to show you. Um, there we go. So I chose, I did the edges if you can see here, around here, I did a butterfly raised up and I did some stenciling. I did some stamping with the Eiffel Tower. I did the bird cage, some stamping and some print on there. All the way around has, oh, that's hanging, has it all the way around. So. My edges, my corners are all, whoops, not in the frame. All of my um, edging is finished. So that's nice. And I think I'm going to put you up here, Olivia, and proceed on doing this. So let's get out. Um, I took a little doily, and I know this is probably going to go into, I'm sorry, to finish it up. I can't see finishing it in 29 minutes, but um, I will give it a go. I'm going to put that down with uh, hot glue right now, and then I will um, put a little bit of Fabri-Tac on it to hold it up here. And I was thinking on this project last night trying to decide I want some of this to hang over trying to decide you know um, what elements I was going to use how much I was going to use and I'm telling you this could go on and on because if you have a lot of embellishments and a lot of product 
you want to use it all. <laughs> oh, I'll use this, I'll use this, but you can't. I have a little stamp of these little feet. I'm going to take some stays on and uh, jet black ink while I'm thinking of it because I see it right here. And I want to put, if it's a destination, you have to have little feet. So I am going to put them, snap one right there, one right there, destination. There, I like that. Set that out because I wanted to do that. Isn't it funny how just the little things, little things mean a lot. Hmm. They do. Okay, so let's get some of our stinky E6000 glue out. And I'm going to start putting down, oh, this stuff, I'm telling you, you don't have to squeeze it. it just. It just wants to do its job immediately. One. Wow, can you smell this? You do need a well-ventilated room to use that. I'm going to put it up like that. And I am finished with that bird. Get that out because I want to see. I want his... Um, leaf to go through here. Oh, I can grab that later. Let's worry about placing this down, Carol, before it dries. Okay, let me get my pokey tool somewhere. I have it around here. Wow, it's really pokeyed in. There we go. Okay, so I want that there. Whoop. And I may have to, I'll have to let that dry right on there like that for now. And then I will grab the feathers like this. I put a pink one and a brown. There we go. That's cute. She'll like that. I might try some glue in there. Just a minute. This one is not setting down. Let me see if it does with that. Try that. We'll see how it goes. I don't want it crooked. I want to see his eyeball on there. I put a, a bling here for the eyeball. And then I put some um, Sharpie Black. So in the hole there so you could see his eyeball or she could see it and let me grab a cloth here from underneath I keep these little face cloths I get them at Walmart and uh, underneath my table in case I need some face cloths um, okay so that's going to sit there for a minute. I'm not going to touch nothing because I'm putting the cheesecloth all over. Let's get uh, some glue and we will put Olivia down. There she is here. And this is what I mean. I don't like working like this when everything's all over. It just uh, it unravels me. So is this brush. <laughs> so let's get this down. There she is. Put it where you want it. Much better. There we go. We'll let that dry. And I'm going to put that in some water because that got stiff. And then I'm going to, as I see stuff, I don't want to be rambling on, but as I see stuff, I am going to just lay it down where I wanted it. And I wanted that in front of that doily. I put this down, but I'm going to gesso a little bit of it. So that's going to be okay. I see this right now. I took this, this here dangly thing. 
I wanted to be able to hang something on here. But I got this um, chain um, to put around my waist. It's a belt. And it doesn't go around my waist anymore. <laughs> so now it's uh, embellishments. Yes. See? There's... Oh, don't get frustrated because you gained a little weight. No. All of your stuff can become embellishments for your work. Okay. <laughs> I'm lifting this up. I want it a little bit bigger. Then I am going to put some of my E6000 that's going nuts on everything over there. Um, they must make double the money for this product because oh, you only use half of it, the rest of it leaks out. Look at there have to, There has to be a thing to invent something. You'd make a fortune that sucks that stuff back up in there. So anyway, put that there. That's going to hang. I want that to dry. And then... I don't know whether I want to leave that plain or I want to put a flower in there. I'm going with plain right now because I can't take it away if I just... Oh, there. Which one is this one? The itinerary. That is going up there, but... Hmm. We'll see. So, I picked out these handles. Remember I had the big bulky handle Uh on the other one, well I got a lot of these, so I took the screws out of the back and all I'm going to do on the top here is put the E6000 on the edges and uh, this is going to be the hanger. I'll show you in a second how she's going to hang this. So I really only need it in two spots. And that stuff is going to come out like crazy. I'll leave it right there. And then this is going to hang on the sides right there. Now, is it in the middle? I don't think so. I'm going to have to slide it to the middle. What I think is the middle, right there. And just hold it for a minute to sit on there doesn't have to be right on, but I mean, I don't want it off to the side. There we are. And then on this little one here, I want it to be the gate door that opens the gate. These are the little things, like, when I watch mixed media, I'm telling you, um, people are so creative. Uh, I just love to see what they, you know, how they come up with this and that. And, I put it through these leaves. And these leaves are, I'll have to show you how you do these. They are just little foam pieces cut out in, in the letter eight, and then they're twisted on one of these. I'll show you that another time. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to have something holding that down until that, uh, until that dries, I can tell you that go with that right now. Okay? No, nope, that won't do it either. Wow. So, I wonder if I take my heat tool. Just a second here, I'll grab one. I have a few of them. I'm going to try drying it. Let me just see. if that works just if I seems to be if I give it some heat under there nope it's not doing it okay I'm going to have to think of something else there I, I probably have to hang that last that is not working or maybe I don't have enough stuff on there I don't know let me pour a ton on here Okay. Let me see here. I'm just 
just going to hold it there. Here, I'm going to hold it for 29 minutes till the film is over. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to look around and see if I have something I can um, put on there. Because once this sets, it's fine. Okay, maybe I just needed that little bit extra and some heat on there. I don't know. Let's try it. It starts to come off. It comes off. Okay, so I need the cheesecloth on here to be able to spray this. I am going to set this in. Oh, I wanted to show you something. I used this texture paint that I made with the talc paint and glue, with white paint. Fabulous. I just tell you to, oh, I wouldn't buy texture paints again. It worked great. Let me put it up against my Copics there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. There, that's working. Okay, so we have that up there. We have that down. Let's get rid of that. All right, so let's cut out some of this and raise it up so that when I spray, I will have... Some texture. I did that to this and you can cut off what you don't use. Let's grab another brush. This one looks good. Okay, put some Mod Podge on there again. Oh, wait a minute. This one I had, I was using that. Let me grab this one. This is unused. Okay, start again. So push it down in there. This is where you're going to get all that nice... Don't be afraid to wrap it around. And I'm still using that seam. Mod Podge. See how when you, um, I'm going to have all of those nice lines from the cheesecloth down inside there and I'm going to have um, all this texture from the, ch uh, you have to get it down in there. From raising it up with the glue gun, with the glue, from the glue gun. Like this. And this is where I'd want to fast forward my um, camera so that it was all done because I'm telling you this is another thing that is like watching paint dry. And there we are. We can always cut it off. Get it down inside. Work it down in there. Bring it over here. All this is for is texture. All this is for is so that when I spray it, instead of just going flat, it is going to be on the cheesecloth and on the glue that is raised up. I'll do this one and show you how I'm doing it and then I'll go on to something else and in my finished one which I know will not be today obviously I don't see how I could do all of this and spray it. I have my spray box ready. I have my colors picked out and that will take a while to show you what I'm going to do there so anyway this is the cheesecloth technique and I thought of this this morning as I was staring at it thinking how am I going to get this raised up and some texture on here and uh, this is how you do it just your glue gun and it adds some shabby chic to it. it. Just doesn't sit there 
Um, and if you want, you can grab something. I still say this is the best thing to use is your um, glue to get down in there. That's why you have to put a little bit more, you know, don't cut it out precise. I think that's going to look really nice. Hope you like this, Olivia. Okay, so there you have that, and then I'll move on. I'm going to do the bird cage. I'm going to do this right here. This is going to get done like this. Pull it in and go around all of these flowers like this so that I have some texture. I'm going to leave that for now because I know I'm going to be shutting down shortly. And I just wanted to show you, this has stayed. That is great. This chain is here, because I'm going to hang something off there. Let's work on some uh, flowers here. I am going to take this little pinchy thing, and it's going to go right on top here, just to add an element of um, Victorian to it and then I will gesso this like this I'm gonna put that on like that and then can you see that that is really pretty I just want you to zoom in on that isn't that gorgeous up there like that there you are look at that little bird in there it's so cute and then let's zoom in on that butterfly. You're going to get a lot of texture out of that. So I only have one or two minutes. I want to thank you for joining me in my craft room today. I am going to go ahead and get all of this uh, onto this texture on there. I will show you some heat embossing I'm going to do next. I'm going to put this chain off of here with some charms hanging off of here like this and then we're going to spray I'll put the few flowers I have left to uh, put on I'm going to gesso uh, everything and then we will come back and we will spray this together because I want you to see the effect that has on spraying this and I want to see it because I've never used Lindy Stamp Gang sprays but I've got about 40 bottles over there <laughs> so I want to see it work and I have a few elements, you know, I may put around. This looks good right there, see? You just keep looking at it and you can find a ton of things to do. So my E6000 is doing its thing right here and leaking everywhere. So I think what I'm going to do with that is I am going to use that amount with my pokey tool and add some more elements. But look at this. This is just fantastic. I am, oh, I'm really pleased with doing this with the cheesecloth. And there you have it. As it's running out of time, I am just going to start gluing things on. And this is actually, I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased with this. Put another glue stick in. 